Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Zach Sopak and Sony has finally done it. Some time ago they released a webcam software but it was exclusively for Windows users. Now they have made it available to Mac OS users. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get your Sony camera set up so that way you can start using it as a webcam over USB so you can have a nice high quality looking video feed for your Zoom meetings, for Google Meets, or for live streaming. It's free and it's easy to do, so let's get into it. The first thing that you need to do is go to the Sony Imaging Edge website, which is linked down below in the video description. Once you are on this page, you will see that there are a few system requirements that they have for Mac users. The next thing that you need to do is select the camera model that you own and that you're gonna be using as a webcam. Now, unfortunately, Sony does not include every single camera model that they made in this list. But a quick sidebar, if you're an owner of a camera that doesn't appear on this list, like a Sony a6000, I've had a ton of a6000 users reach out to me. There is still a way to use your camera as a webcam. You just cannot do it with this Sony software. I did do a video about this cheap $20 capture card. That's actually really awesome. I'm gonna leave a link to the video up there and a link to the capture card down below. But this allows you to use those cameras that are not on this list as a webcam. So once you've selected your camera model or models, depending on what kind of cameras you have, you go ahead and download the software. Once you've downloaded the software, open it up, follow the steps to install it onto your computer, and then your computer will restart. And while your computer restarts, you can take that opportunity to hit that like button on this video. One other thing that you need to do is change a few of the settings in your camera. Now, not each Sony camera is made the same with their menu system. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the different things that you need to do up on screen, depending on your camera model. You can take this opportunity to pause the video or take a screenshot so you can reference it later. Now, once your computer has restarted, all you have to do is connect your camera to your computer over USB or USB-C, depending on your camera. Then select the virtual meeting software of your choice or whatever live streaming software that you're wanting to use. Now, you just need to go to your video source settings and select Sony Camera Imaging Edge. And now your camera is up and running as your webcam. In my experience, this is a very low latency option that's really awesome because you get all the benefits of Sony cameras like autofocus and they're really nice lenses to make a really nice professional looking image for your meetings and for your live streams. So a couple of quick tips to, to get this set up is I would suggest turning that top dial to a movie mode and putting your camera settings on auto white balance. This is gonna be really good for anybody who's in a situation where maybe the lighting is going to change if you're using window light or anything like that. Otherwise, if you're in a studio setup, then you can set that white balance custom and it'll be set up nice, ready to go. Now, one big drawback to using this free USB method is that you're not allowed to use your camera's audio. Now, if you already have a USB mic, like a blue snowball or something like that, then no problem. You can just use that separate mic as your audio. But if you want to use your on-camera microphone because you've already invested money in that, then I would just suggest going with a capture card like this $20 one that I had mentioned before. It gives you all the functionality of using your camera as a webcam, but then you get to use your camera mics that you've already purchased. Well, hey, I hope that this video has given you some value. And if it did give you value, go ahead and add some value right back to it by hitting that like button. And also consider subscribing to this channel for more regular content just like this. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that way you don't miss out anytime I post a new video. Let me know in the comments down below what you're using your webcam for. Are you using it for meetings? Are you using it for live streaming? Let me know in the comments down below. And until the next time, my name is Zach Sopak. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.